Hey guys, I'm LB. Let's check out Triple Baka by Faraday. And I don't remember when, but at some point they've got a square root before their name and a expono exponent of two after their name. Difficulty is difficult to guess. Whisper, probably three out of ten. In this map, there are my the what? In hang on. In this map, there are my the most used and favorite elements, funnel and blue gel. Okay, so I was reading that right. I'm just it's just structured strangely. Love them. All right. As always, I named this map so that its meaning is as understandable as possible. Enjoy. If you, just like me, do not like long descriptions, please read the alternative description in traditional Faraday's whoever he is style. And it just got a dash. Yep, I remember when Faraday used to just do dashes. So let's see here. Looks like we got all the things that we were promised. Let's get started, shall we? Hmm. There's our cube. And we're on a ledge. No need to stay up here down, let's just drop down. I always- I always worry, like, when you start on a ledge in a map, it always makes me worry that I'll want to return to that ledge later, like, maybe I have an advantage for staying there, but so far it's never happened that jumping down has been the wrong move. Besides, jumping down being the wrong move would be a trapping situation anyway. But it doesn't stop me from being scared. So looks like we need to get gel up here in order to even reach that cube. What does this do? Turns that off. Okay. Seems like we can just do this. Mm-hmm. And then we can switch it around at the right moment. Oh, wait, it's an open door policy map. Yep, there we go. So now we have this cube. Then what? The point is to eventually reverse the funnel, right? What all is in here? Not much. Not much at all, it would seem. Hmm. What's up there? Can't see yet. I suppose I could just go up here with the gel, right? That should work. No, it, uh, no, I can't, because there's, 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 a grating here. Yeah, that's a good point. So let's go up, uh, we'll come here. Come on. Let's go up here, please. And we'll go this way. Ah, there's a button up there, and it's a regular old button, so that we could stand on it by hand if we wanted to. What's the best way to get up there, though? I suppose we could jump from here, right? <laughs> well... Sort of. You gotta actually make the jump. But that's definitely gonna work. Let's try that again, shall we? What is this one for? Strange, I guess that must be for when we get the... funnel reversed? Unreversed? You know what I mean. Right, so now we're up here. Ah, but we can't see... Ah, yes. Hmm. So the trick is how do we get the cube up here? Well, it's right by a portal surface, but... Do we need the cube up here? Yeah, because we need to get to the exit. Eventually, we will need the cube up here. What can we do with the gel that we couldn't do already? Like, 
we can get it over here, but that's not too helpful, really. Yeah, we have gel here now. Hooray! Whoop doo doo. I don't really see how that helps though. And most certainly we're not supposed to like air strafe around to see the portal surface and strafe back in here again. That wouldn't make much sense. Like it's certainly possible. Like, I could shoot a portal surface- portal on the portal surface there, and then get back in here. That's certainly... doable, but most likely not intended. Wow, this counts as bouncy, huh? Huh! <laughs> this certainly doesn't look bouncy, but it is bouncy. Isn't that strange? Except, now it's not bouncy anymore? Oh, I know what it is, it's the great glitch. I'm actually bouncing through the- wait, what? I thought it was bouncing through the button. Huh? It stopped being bouncy? What? I thought this was a glitch with... how... well now it's bouncing me again. I'm not sure how this works. <laughs> that fizzler never turns off. Why is that even a fizzler with portal surfaces in there in the first place? Just to look cool, I guess? I'm not really sure. There's not a way to get gel here, right? That would certainly solve a lot of my problems if I could. Yeah, I don't think I can, though. cube to get up there. Surely I don't want to just throw the cube up there, right? That sounds like it would lead to my death and demise. I mean, I could certainly try it, but it seems unintended to just toss the cube in there. Especially now that I got bounce gel in there. Yeah, that's- that's not gonna work. Hmm. So then what might we need to do... to get up there... with the cube? We definitely don't want to coat the cube, that would be a bad idea. Yeah, throwing the cube would definitely be unintended, because then why even have a button to turn off the laser field if the whole point is to throw the cube up there? Why have an escape route for players? I feel like I'm missing something, though. What if I put my portal there first? Will I be able to make the jump? Oh! Yeah, I totally can. That's the solution. Alright. Wasn't quite expecting that, but that works. Is that a flip panel? Kinda looks like a flip panel, doesn't it? Maybe? Am I going crazy? Is this a flip panel that's just- yeah, it is the flip panel that's just deactivated. 
Huh. I mean, that don't have a connection, is what I meant to say, not deactivated. They just don't have connections. Interesting. It must be for aim assisting, I suppose? Yeah, that's a, that would be my guess. But anyway, now, we should be able to bounce up here. Right, and then we can just... Ooh, that startled me. Certainly is scary, isn't it? Now we can do this. Get on over here, cube. Put it on the button, and then we escape down the back way here. And now we should be able to just funnel ourselves straight to the exit. Short, sweet little puzzle that I got confused on because I'm bad with funnels. <laughs> Alright. Well, guys, as always, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it, and I'll see you all in another video. Goodbye!